Pluto is a distant and unobtrusive, more honest planet that was once a piece of our nearby planetary system. However, advancing disturbing announcements by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight. They suggested that this far-off world is on a potential collision course with Neptune. But how could this actually work? Likewise, what might be the consequences of such a massive event? Are we seeing a confusing, massive anomaly? Or is there more to this impending incident? Join us as we examine the scientific consequences of a Pluto-Neptune impact. Pluto, a former planet that was reclassified as a dwarf planet, remains a subject of fascination and study in the vast universe. According to recent speculations by leading experts, Pluto's orbit is perilously close to Neptune's. Astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising the alarm about a potential catastrophic collision between these two planets, which could pose a significant risk to Earth. But how is such an event even possible? Pluto's journey around the Sun is unlike that of any other planet in our solar system. It takes an astonishing 248 years to complete a single orbit. Since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even completed one full revolution. However, the intrigue doesn't stop there. Pluto's orbit is marked by its particularly elongated shape, straying significantly from the nearly circular orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more remarkable is its inclination, which is 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The way Pluto follows its path is far more eccentric compared to other planets. This inclination and eccentricity add layers of complexity to its orbital dynamics. One of the most fascinating aspects of Pluto's orbit is its interaction with Neptune's. For about 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually moves closer to the Sun than Neptune, contradicting what we might expect from their positions in the planetary framework. This prompts the common question, why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational influences of various planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began shortly after its discovery. Initially, astronomers tried to understand its unique path. Unlike other planets, whose orbits lie relatively close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's orbit stands out with its steep inclination and eccentric shape. The mystery deepened with the realization that Pluto's orbit does, in fact, cross Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit, despite these complexities, is a testament to the intricacies of celestial mechanics. The three-body problem in space involves determining how three objects, such as Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and influence each other with their gravity. It's like trying to predict where they will go based on where they started and how they pull on each other. For Pluto, this problem illustrates how its orbit, Neptune's orbit, and the sun's gravity all interact in a complex way. Key concepts such as non-synchronous libration, orbital precession, and the VZK wobbling are crucial to this puzzle, as explained by astrophysicists. Non-synchronous libration, in the context of Pluto and Neptune, means that when Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is positioned about 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is vital in preventing their orbits from intersecting. Orbital precession, on the other hand, refers to the vertical movement of a body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it is positioned far above their orbital plane, adding an extra layer of protection from potential collisions. Another key factor in this scenario is the VZK wobbling, named after three scientists, Veselov, Zeleny, and Kai, who studied how objects move in space. This wobbling describes how three space objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, pull on each other with their gravity. This gravitational interaction affects their movements. In Pluto's case, the VZK wobbling helps explain why its orbit near the Sun is so irregular. Despite Pluto's orbit appearing chaotic, this wobbling helps keep it moving smoothly over extended periods. The VZK wobbling demonstrates that, despite the seemingly chaotic and unpredictable nature of space, patterns and rules maintain some order. These forces help stabilize Pluto's orbit, ensuring that it doesn't crash into Neptune or drift off course. This three-body problem is critical to understanding how these orbits change due to the gravitational interactions of space objects. Studying this helps us learn more about Pluto, our solar system, and even distant galaxies and their stars. 
mathematical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that, despite its stabilizing properties, Pluto's orbit is still irregular. Minor deviations in initial conditions can lead to significant differences over decades. However, these characteristics of Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over exceptionally long timescales. Modern automated assessments have helped us understand how the giant planets, such as Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn, influence Pluto's orbit around the Sun. Neptune has a unique relationship with Pluto, where for every two orbits Pluto completes around the Sun, Neptune completes three. This resonance helps keep Pluto's orbit stable. However, Neptune is not the only player at work. Jupiter's gravity also plays a massive role in stabilizing Pluto's orbit. Saturn contributes as well. These studies show that Jupiter's immense gravity is strong enough to ensure Pluto remains on a consistent path for millennia, possibly even longer. It seems that Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are working together to ensure Pluto continues to move safely through space without encountering trouble. These dynamics are crucial for maintaining order in the solar system. Without these elements, the solar system as we know it would be a much harsher place. Bodies like Pluto could collide with others or be ejected from their stable orbits, triggering a chain reaction with other celestial bodies. Understanding Pluto's orbit is essential, especially with discussions about its potential collision with Neptune in the future. This provides a clearer picture of the dynamic nature of the solar system. Pluto's case shows how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can achieve a state of balance through the intricate interplay of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also highlights the importance of continuous observation and analysis of these dynamics to better understand our place in the universe. Exploring the depths of space often forces us to confront the extraordinary nature of celestial bodies. Pluto's orbit is a perfect example of this peculiarity. The concept of orbital chaos, which refers to the delicate dependence of a celestial body's orbit on its initial conditions, is vividly demonstrated in Pluto's case. This means that even slight changes in the dwarf planet's position or speed can drastically alter its long-term orbit. Using automated simulations has been immensely helpful for researchers in understanding how Pluto moves through space. These simulations use complex mathematics to model how Pluto and other celestial objects, like Neptune, influence one another. By tweaking small details in the simulations, space scientists can observe how even minute changes can create a significant difference in where Pluto ends up. In the late 1980s, these simulations revealed something intriguing about Pluto's orbit. Despite having features like asynchronous libration and orbital precession to keep it stable, its orbit can still be erratic. If you start with just a slight difference in where Pluto is or how fast it's moving, its orbit could look completely different after only a few years. Yet, despite this chaos, Pluto's orbit remains stable over immense timescales billions of years. This means that Pluto's journey around the Sun has a kind of order to it, even though it appears chaotic at first. Predicting celestial movements, especially when they involve irregular orbits like Pluto's, is a significant challenge. The inherent unpredictability of these systems means that long-term predictions are often fraught with uncertainties. While mathematical models provide excellent tools for understanding and predicting the future movements of celestial bodies, they also highlight the limitations of our predictive abilities. These models rely heavily on the precision of initial conditions, and even a small error or distortion can lead to vastly different outcomes, making exact predictions a daunting task. Beyond the chaotic nature of planetary orbits, Pluto reminds us of the ever-changing and dynamic nature of the universe. While we've made tremendous progress in understanding space, Pluto's case serves as a reminder of how much we still don't know about our own solar system. Grasping the gravitational effects of the giant planets on Pluto's orbit provides valuable insights into the broader dynamics of the solar system. It shows how the presence and position of each planet can significantly influence the stability and trajectory of other bodies within the system. So, why are leading astrophysicists recently raising concerns about a potential collision between Pluto and Neptune? Despite all these intricate forces working to prevent such an event from occurring, Neil deGrasse Tyson, a prominent astrophysicist and a significant figure in advancing cosmology, offers a unique perspective on the mysteries of our solar system particularly the fascinating case of Pluto. Tyson, 
known for his role in reclassifying Pluto from a planet to a dwarf planet, provides insightful analysis on the evolving nature of celestial mechanics and the public's interest in the forgotten corners of space. Tyson's stance on Pluto's reclassification is based on the ever-evolving understanding of our solar system. He views the reclassification not as a diminishment but as an important adjustment to our developing understanding of the diverse bodies orbiting our sun. Tyson's approach to celestial mechanics is one of continuous learning and adaptation. He sees the complexities of orbits like Pluto's as a reminder of how much there is still to discover in space. The fascination with these questions keeps the study of space so exciting. However, despite Tyson's optimism, his thoughts on Pluto's potential collision with Neptune paint a different picture. His concerns about the fate of Pluto's orbit suggest that we may still have some mysteries to uncover. Will Pluto collide with Neptune? Or is this simply another moment of confusion in the ever-changing universe of space? Only time and further research will tell. For now, we are left with a deeper curiosity about how little we still know about our own solar system. We continue to ponder these celestial anomalies with the goal of uncovering more of the mysteries that lie beyond. The possibility of a Pluto-Neptune collision raises yet another question about the enigmatic and captivating universe in which we exist. The potential for an incident between Pluto and Neptune raises intriguing questions about the dynamics of the solar system as it challenges our conventional understanding of planetary stability. That two celestial bodies with such vastly different characteristics could collide is both unsettling and captivating, especially considering the current relative stability of their orbits. Given that Pluto is located in the outer reaches of the solar system, far from the major planets, and Neptune is itself a gas giant with a strong gravitational field, the implications of such a collision would be monumental for how we understand gravitational interactions and the evolution of the nearby solar system. To understand the dynamics of a potential collision, one must first consider the composition and properties of the two planets. Pluto, despite being a dwarf planet, contains various elements and compounds believed to exist in a frozen state due to the extremely cold conditions of the outer solar system. Its surface is covered in nitrogen ice, and it has an atmosphere composed primarily of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. In contrast, Neptune, a gas giant, is composed mostly of hydrogen, helium, and other lighter elements, with a deep, dense atmosphere. A collision between such disparate bodies would significantly impact their structure and behavior, potentially creating an event observable across vast astronomical distances. What makes this hypothetical collision particularly intriguing is the influence of other planets and bodies in the solar system. While Neptune's gravity plays a dominant role in keeping Pluto's orbit stable, it is not the only factor at play. The presence of Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system, is another critical factor. Jupiter's enormous mass, strong gravitational field, and gravitational influence provide a stabilizing effect on Pluto's orbit, preventing it from straying too far into Neptune's zone. Additionally, Saturn's gravitational influence further complicates the dynamic interactions of the outer solar system, making it unlikely that a catastrophic event will occur between Pluto and Neptune. 